Challenge 4. Endurance at Nürburgring. Win this challenge with steering assist disabled. Okay. I'll take this one. Mustang GT Premium. 4.6 miles. Third place. It's close to the win. Should be uh, close to the win. I find myself thinking past them aggressively without touching them. If you kind of gingerly work your way around them, you lose a lot of time. Breaking points where that grass changes on the right side. <coughs> Better not to hit them and go faster. And when you go faster around one, you get to the next one quicker. Staying on track. The letters stay white, which means it increases your miles. In other words, when you're off track, it doesn't count your miles. Right here. Very little speed in there, but still you can control it with that speed. And that's the important thing, is get a little extra speed on those cars. Oh, wow. It was too close, huh? I was gonna hit, go around him and not hit him. Darn it. Coming on, on fifth with 67 seconds, 77 one seconds left. Talking and not racing again. By the time we get to 5th, it may be in the 50s. For some reason I use a rule of thumb, 10 seconds for every place. That seems if you, you know, you have 4th place and you got 40 seconds left and so on like that. You will generally have time enough to win. Not always. Going around, not through. In a moment, that moment. See if I can do this with no break. Yes. Forty fourth place. Pretty good. Uh, there's a little gap here between fourth and third, but there's a very little gap between third and second and first. Got about half a mile left to get to third. Uh, I was calculating, not arriving. Well, I got plenty of time, it appears. Best way I raced that corner all, all the times I've gone by it. By it in this race. Didn't go off track. It was nice. There's third. Got 25 seconds left for second place. 19 seconds for uh, 20 seconds down for first. 4.6. I want to go to 4.7 and stop. Just enough to indicate I went further. How's my front end look? Good touch this time. There's been times that it's been flapping in the wind there.
Challenge 4 complete. Challenge 5 is not a cross at Silverstone. Win this challenge with the HUD disabled. I'm going to bring up a stopwatch. Autocross. Okay. Hmm. Medium. Yeah, I can do it. Like this. Fifty-five point seven. So I got fifty-four, fifty-five. That's good. No need to break. I don't need to break yet. Except the skid will break for you some. And flat out through here. Time this turn. 33 seconds. Forty three, eight, two, four, five. Oh. Well, I may retry that, seeing if I can just not try to time anything because it looks like I may have difficulty even getting it done at all there's no reason to time it and break it if you're having a hard time stretching to the goal friend that skid might have hurt me some. It may have, but not too much, fortunately. Gold well spent. Fifty-four six, more than a second. Fifty-five seven. Challenge 5 complete. I don't think I'm going to race it right now, but I do want to see what the boss challenge is going to be. It's going to be another Daytona. And I am going to wait for the upgrade to finish four laps at Daytona. I don't know if this one upgrade is going to be enough to bring it down from extreme on the difficulty rating to hard, but maybe it will help me not have to be so perfect in order to get into first place. We'll see.